Hi, everybody. It's Julie. Welcome to the Essentials by Ellen Holiday 2016 release preview. We're pretty excited around here. We've got lots of holiday cards and inspiration to share with you. But first, I'm going to show you a little bit about the new products in this release. Brandy Kincaid is a brand new artist for Ellen Hudson LLC this season, and she has three holiday sets that she's going to be releasing through us. This one is called Homespun Holidays, and it has the most adorable hand-drawn images, very whimsical. I love the little snow globe in a jar and the tree that you can decorate and the mitten. There's also matching dies to go with this set. Also by Brandy is this set called Tree Farm that features a really cute retro trailer and these cozy little critters and they're all going down to the tree farm to pick out their Christmas tree. They've got a thermos there for some hot cider and I think this is going to be a really fun set with the matching dyes to create some super cute holiday scenes. Now I have to admit that Light Parade has a special place in my heart because it reminds me of when my parents would bundle us up in our pajamas to take us out to see the lights in the neighborhood. And I think this is such a clever idea to have the little girl and little boy interchangeable with the pajamas and that tiny car would make such a cute slider going past the houses in the neighborhood. We also added some classic, iconic imagery in our standalone dies. This is a set of antlers, and I think everybody should have a set of antlers in their holiday arsenal. We also have the Believe script, which is just very classic and elegant in the style. It looks handwritten. Now you can't have the holidays without joy, peace, and love, of course, and this die set is done in a really fun, chunky font, and I thought it was fun to keep them together instead of separating the tines and clipping them apart so I could create this window effect on the front of my card. I don't know if I'll ever separate them because I really like that effect. <laughs> Next up is a two-piece die set called the Geo Tree, and the fun thing about this die set is that you can use it two different ways. There are two separate dies that can be used independently or you can combine them. And what I mean by that is first I die cut a solid tree shape from some metallic cardstock, and then I'm going to take the fragmented die, which is slightly smaller, and it will layer right over the top of that, and I can use post-it tape to keep it in place, and then send it through the big shot a second time, and then I'll have a separate die cut tree with those fragmented shapes. Or I can just use the fragmented die itself and make an opening through the front of my card for a shaker card. So you have a lot of options for that die set. It also complements the Season to Sparkle stamp set which carries on that same geometric theme with the fragmented images like the deer and a moon. There's even something in there that could be considered a rock or a cloud or even an iceberg. So, and it has matching dies so you have some elegant options with this particular set. Now I love, love a holiday card that makes me laugh and that was the premise behind Fat Pants which has these different sentiments that just crack me up. Get your fat pants ready, it's Christmas. Hold on to your baubles. And this is a really fun builder set that has different components that you can combine together to create these different effects. So you can make Santa. We've got the Santa hat and the beard and some rosy cheeks. We've also got some retro ornament shapes that you can mix and match and embellish with different accent images. We've also got this adorable snowman and he's got a stocking cap. And by coincidence, he happens to fit perfectly over the joy in the holiday words. We were so excited when we realized that. So a really fun set. We've also got a die set called Bird Shapes that has a Scandinavian dove as well as a more traditional classic dove. And you just can't have Christmas without a reindeer, right? So we've got a leaping deer. And one of the reasons why we did these larger shaped dies is that they're going to work very well with our final die in this release. It's called the Stitches Cover Plate. It does not have any cutting lines along the outer edges. It only has cutting lines for the stitch patterns. So you can actually use this die on your card front directly to emboss those stitching patterns or die cut those stitching patterns right into the card front. You don't have to worry that it's going to cut away the front of your card. And you can also use it to embed the pattern into cardstock and then die cut shapes from your resulting pattern cardstock like I did with the holiday words and also the Scandinavian dove. I actually die cut it and then I die cut that same shape a couple times from some crafter board and then when I glued it all together I had a chipboard thick type embellishment that I could use as an ornament that you could detach from the card. The Essentials by Ellen Holiday 2016 release is available now at ellenhudson.com. And we've got a fantastic hop planned for you. If you'll stop by the classroom blog, there is a grand prize giveaway. And we also have prizes being given away at each of the designer's 
blog. So I hope you'll stop and leave them some comment love. It's going to be filled with amazing eye candy. You don't want to miss it. So grab something nice and hot, get cozy and enjoy the show. In the meantime, I'm going to give you just a brief slideshow with a taste of what's to come. Thanks for watching. Thank you.